Greetings guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to Mizuno Pro 225 against JPX 921 Forged. So, um, different irons, but both kind of looking at a blended part of the market. Now, Mizuno Pro 225 is the most forgiving side of their MP Mizuno Pro range. When it comes to JPX 921 Forged, it's more on the side of the player's side of the JPX 92 range. Remember, you've got Hot Metal, Hot Metal High Launch, Hot Metal Pro which covers a certain end of the forgiveness market and the like high handicapper and stuff. But the 921 Forge is, is kind of then, they're marketed very, very similar uh, handicaps. Now, we have got similar technology in both of these, also very different technologies within both of these. There's only one degree of loft difference, 30 degrees for 225 and 30 degrees for 921. So and remember guys, when it comes to the test that I do, Stay till the end of the video, because at the end of the video, when we do all the number side, I test forgiveness. So I smack these all around the face, not just out the middle, but the toe, low, heel shots, all those lovely ones, to see which one of these two perform better or differently to each other to aid in your decision about what you'd like to try or which one's possibly better for your stripe pan. So I need to change data sets because we need different color lines for fun. Um, I've set it up on a ridiculously hard hole, water to carry all the way through. We'll do 225 first, and then we're gonna go over to 921. Let's go see how both of these feel. Data set now changed. We are 171 yards, up one inch, 171. Now, obviously I'm not gonna try and swing full speed, uh, cause that's not the whole idea I'm gonna try to do going forward, try and swing at a slower speed. So uh, most people down the lens can relate to it a bit better rather than me just swinging at 92, 93 miles an hour. Um, right, so 225. This is the fattest version of the uh, Mizuno Pro range. It effectively looks like you've got a 921, which is here the chromy, chromy, bladey, bladey, and stuck an airline <laughs> down the hosel to blow it up a little bit. Um, it's a hollow head design for the majority of it, between two and seven iron, I think it is, you've got a hollow body, and you have a load of tungsten in there. You've got 28 grams of, or 28 and a half grams, but 28 grams of tungsten at the bottom of the golf club to aid in the miss hits. So again, we'll be testing that out at the other end of the video. Um, it is hollow bodied. We have got chromoly, chromoly, chrom whatever you are in the world when it comes to saying that. Uh, as a forging, you've got that mix. And I think it's eight iron to gap wedge where it goes to standard 1025E, but if I can find the split, I will stick it up on the screen. I have got both of these in the Project X 6.0 shaft. It's trying to keep everything like for like and exact as I possibly can. So let's see if we can have a go at hitting this green. Got to try and slow down a little bit, although I'm tempted because um, yeah, don't miss it short. But um, right, so down by the golf ball, when it comes to the uh, 225, it is the biggest one of the MPs or Mizuno Pros, but it hasn't got a boatload of offset whatsoever at all. The blade lengths compared to obviously to 221 and 223 are slightly bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger, but by no means obscene. And they look a little bit smaller than 921 just off the bat. Can't see anything out the back whatsoever. Fairly, I would say medium top line, and again, medium soles. So um, they're fairly confidence inspiring, even in a fairly small little chassis. Right, let's give this one a hit. Let's see if we can not hit the water. That's a lovely toe shot to start with. <laughs> You'll get that one. Oh, there you go. I'm testing out the tungsten already. 88 miles an hour, four mil low, eight mil toe. I could feel that. See, the, the great thing when it comes to player's irons, and unfortunately, when you, when you start going down the game improvement route, the, the more game improvement you go, I find the less feedback you get. So everything's supposed to be explosive off the face and all that lot, which is great, but you start losing the nuances of strike. I could feel that was distinctly toe. It was eight mil, but I could feel it. Um, these have got copper underlay. All the Mizuno Pro range have got the copper underlay. And because it's a hollow head design, you do need it. If not, it will sound a little bit like a hybrid. But um, considering eight mil off the toe and four mil low, felt absolutely fine. Definite normal Mizuno Pro-like. Oh, that's lovely. Little baby drawer. That's lovely. Now that was fractionally Healy, but fractionally 
Uh, zero mil low, four mil heel. Yeah, that is definite, definite Mizuno Pro-like. Um, you can understand why people turn around and say nothing feels like a Mizuno. It's a bit of a weird tagline because uh, all it is is acoustics, really. I can't feel um, harshness or, or anything else like that, but I can hear. And the impacts of the harmonics that these things uh, create, make, um, is a definite muted version. Now, um, obviously there are golf clubs out there that have a completely different noise to them, but Mizuno, as a company, have decided that they want us to focus on muted sounds rather than bang, go ball. Um, what was that? 172 yards, 88 miles an hour again. But um, yeah, if I hit every single shot like that all the time, I'd be very happy. Yeah, a little fade, that's me, but fairly decent hit. I mean, it's, uh, again, you take that all day long. It's a, a decent chance at birdie, that. And yeah, it's the feel. It just, it does feel very, 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 very nice. Shall I do another one? Go on, one more. Let's just give me another chance to mess up. Um, but when it comes to blending these, so even if you weren't thinking about going JPX 921 uh, or 225, if you're already, say, a 221 player or even a 223, and you're looking for something to go in the, in the 4 and 5 iron as an option for a bit more help, remember, obviously, it has got all that lovely tungsten in it to promote launch and yada yada when it comes to off-center hits. So you could definitely use this in the longer irons, and it does come all the way into a 2 iron, which scares the living, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, again, it's fine, it's lovely. Good old copper. Right, so, fit enough shots for this now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick over to the 921, forged, give that a go, give that a hit, compare it up against the uh, 225, and uh, let's go change data sets. Let's go change, if not, we're gonna get all the same lines. We want a different color, so let's go for, let's go for yellow. Let's go flick over data sets. 921 forge time, I've changed data sets, so we have got a yellow line that's gonna appear. Anyway, 921 forge, when it comes to technology between this and the 225, the 921's got similar technology and then completely different. The similar thing is the fact of what it's made from. It's made from chromoly. We've got grain flow forged chromoly, 43413, whatever it is, the construction. Anyways, chromium, molybidium whacked in there. They've both got it and they're forged with it. That makes it a little bit more stronger, explosive, face thinner, all that idea, you kind of get it. All manufacturers are trying to basically create as much speed off the face they possibly can do, and every manufacturer does it in their own specific way. So where they're both very similar in what they're made from, how they differ is when, when it comes to the technology of the head. So a 921 Forge has got a micro slot in it. Micro slot allows for the face to be a bit thinner, lower further back CG and all that lot, um, even to a point of where the new Mizuno Pro 223 has got a version of a JPX 921 micro slot. So yeah, obviously it works. And I know, although I haven't seen the 923 forged yet, I wouldn't be surprised if it carries on a version of the micro slot because the micro slot works very well. Right, let's go give this one a hit. Down by the golf ball, first of all, the differences between this and a 225 would be, if anything, the offset is slightly a bigger in a 921 forged, but marginally, nothing hardly whatsoever. When it comes to the top line, there's not much in it whatsoever, if anything at all. I can't visually see any difference. Um, sole thickness is larger, so if you put your fingers either side of the sole, you can see the true thickness of it, but because of a chromed bar at the back, it detracts away from the physical size and makes the sole look thinner than it actually is. And of course, when you look down by the golf ball, the blade lengths are fractionally getting a bit longer visually than 225. Right, well, let's go give this one a hit anyway and see how well it performs. Oh, I faded it again. I think I'm safe, I'm not quite sure. We'll see how it lands. It's fine, you can putt that one. But when you have your face open, 2.9 degrees. That's where the fade is coming from. It's a safe play. Definitely is a safe play. Um, feel off the face. Already, it's a bit more of a explosive hit. It's not loud by any stretch, but because of the copper when it comes to 225 and even the, the 225 with a hollow head, um, audibly, there's a little bit more of a... Oh, Matt. Um, 
a bit more of an explosive sound with 921. Although it's, yeah, we'll hit a few more shots and see uh, if it keeps on that way. Oh, that's a miss hit. That's a lovely miss hit. Don't go in for a miss hit. <laughs> there you go. Right, so we'll see that one on the old screen. There you go, great delivery. Um, 0.0, 0.1, however, six mil toe, nine mil low. Yeah, you can feel that. Um, I'm using every little bit of micro slottage on that one, um, but I'll be honest, look at that, it done well. So when it comes 0.4 yards offline, but then I delivered it fairly well, I just hit it like that. Um, you felt that, well, I felt it. Um, yeah, try not to hit it nine mil low, although it does fairly well when you do. But um, yeah, noise is slightly more than the 225. That's a better hit, slightly fady. 1.8 open, just saw on quad there, but I mean, yeah, that's, again, decent hit, decent result. I mean, that is, I mean, that's what, six mil low, four mil heel. Uh, not buttons, not absolutely buttons, but with the face is 1.8 open. That's why it's fading. But yeah, it's got a slightly more a firm feel than 225. It's not much in it whatsoever. Um, and there is quite a big difference between when you go to a 921 Forge and a Tor, because a JPX 921 Tor, I've never really truly understood why the 921 Tor is even in a JPX, because effectively the Tor is not far off a blade. But um, JPX is always supposed to be for forgiveness and that kind of idea, but that's a different subject. Right, one more, because I'm pretty certain we did four, we did, with the uh, 225. So let's do the same amount with 921 forged. Yeah, that's solid. Slightly tubby. Oh, a bit fast, calm down, Jay. Um, yeah, that's carrying. Dialed the speed up a fraction too fast then. I'm trying to slow my swing down a fraction, obviously, so people can relate to it a bit more. Um, little baby, well, fade delivery, uh, four mil toe, uh, two mil low. So basically fairly middle, it was good. So um, that was the best hit of the lot and it still feels fractionally firmer than 225. And again, that all comes down to being subjective, whether you like that or you don't. So slightly bigger than 225, but margin, margins in it and slightly firmer than 225. We've, count, we've caught a few already of not quite middle, but let's go a little bit more extreme. Let's go, um, I'll change it back onto the Foresight range because that's gonna go and have a look at the miss hits between 221 Forged and Mizuno Pro 225 to see when you don't quite hit the middle, which one performs better than the other. So guys, to prevent this from being a video marathon, I've decided to put this video into two parts. For the guys that are watching live, if you go on my channel, part two will be up in a couple of minutes. For the guys that are watching afterwards, if you click one of the boxes beside me, that'll link you to part two, where we look at the performance and the forgiveness.